In this video, I'd like to introduce some of the latest Skyrim mods that are a must-have in April 2024. First, let's talk about immersion-related mods. First up, we have Take a Nap, Sleep on Chairs. This mod allows you to rest on specific furniture such as chairs or benches. With this mod installed, your player character can sit on chairs and take a rest. It provides a convenient way to rest in the game and make time pass quickly. While not as comfortable as sleeping in a bed, you can nap for up to three hours and experience immersive elements like feeling back pain after a few hours. Sometimes NPCs may engage in conversations related to your napping on chairs. It's a highly compatible mod that works well with go to bed and other mods, ensuring a seamless experience. Next up is Immersive Fishing. Immersive Fishing is a mod that enhances J Serpa's simple fishing overhaul by adding new cast, idle, and catch animations while fishing in third person. It also displays the fishing rod and caught fish in the character's hands. Being able to see the character holding the actual caught fish adds to the immersion and enhances the overall experience. Next up is Dialogue Expansion, Imperial Soldiers. This mod adds over 150 knowledge-friendly dialogues to Imperial Soldiers throughout Skyrim. Previously, Imperial Soldiers had limited dialogues, often repeating the same lines. However, with this mod, the conversations of Imperial Soldiers become much more diverse, whether greeting every Imperial Soldier encountered while traveling or engaging in conversations among Imperial troops. The dialogues are varied. Additionally, there are new dialogue options based on the player's progress in the Civil War Imperial questline enhancing immersion in the game. In this segment, we'll explore several animation mods. First up, let's talk about TK Dodge NG. TK Dodge is one of the most well-known dodging mods in Skyrim. It's a mod that dynamically changes Skyrim's monotonous combat, allowing players to perform dodge rolls by double-tapping directional keys or pressing a designated key. This enables a more dynamic combat experience, transforming Skyrim's combat into something more exciting. Now, with the Anniversary Edition, you can also use TK Dodge through this mod. Next up is Swords of Legends Jinyun Sword Action. This mod provides the player with a set of MCO animations. Using a one-handed sword, it offers quite lively and swift attack motions. The animations themselves give off a rather flashy feel, as they involve rapid thrusting, jumping, spinning, and slashing. If you're playing with a rogue or assassin concept, this moveset is tailored for you. Especially during power attacks, the character performs dynamic motions such as leaping high and slashing down with the sword, or spinning and soaring through the air, adding more excitement to combat. Additionally, using power attacks while moving left, right, or backward triggers special attacks allowing your character to zigzag and continuously strike down enemies, making your character even more formidable. Next up is Final Fantasy XVI Sword Action. This mod adds a blend of one-handed sword attacks and fire magic-infused spell sword moveset. Upon equipping the items included in this mod, the animations are triggered. The basic attacks involve swinging the one-handed sword, while power attacks involve leaping into the air to strike. Mixing normal attacks with power attacks triggers fire magic, and using power attacks while moving left, right, or backward activates unique movesets. Personally, I found the teleporting and slashing motion quite impressive in this moveset. If you're looking for a spell sword moveset, this one is also a decent choice. Next up is the rapier moveset. This mod adds a dedicated MCO ADXP moveset for rapier weapons. To use this, you'll need mods like Animated Armory. The animations themselves are quite impressive. With good motion frames, the movements are fluid and smooth, and the transitions between normal and power attacks are seamless. Upon successfully chaining combos to the end of a power attack, an infinite thrusting move is triggered, fitting the nature of rapier weapons. Personally, I find this to be one of the smoothest rapier movesets available. And if you're using a rapier, I highly recommend giving it a try. In this time, 
I'd like to introduce an amazing mod related to the interface, which is Dialogue History. This SKSE plugin introduces a powerful new feature to your game. The ability to keep track of all your conversations with NPCs. This mod offers a comprehensive log of your interactions within the game's dialogue menu, allowing you to revisit past conversations and explore the intricacies of your character's interactions with the inhabitants of Skyrim. Then, let's take a closer look at some of the key features. First feature is local history. Easily access transcripts of your current conversations with NPCs using the default key Shift plus D. This feature allows you to review recent dialogue exchanges in detail, providing valuable context for your adventures. Hey, Second feature is there. global history. Dive deeper into your dialogue history with the ability to view all conversations since installing the mod. Sort your conversations chronologically or by location, and filter by NPC name to track your interactions with specific characters, like faithful companion Lydia. Third feature is audio playback. Are you feeling sick? Experience your conversations in a whole new way with My the ability to click like on NPC so lines to hear audio playback. This immersive feature the adds an extra layer of depth to your role-playing experience. Only if I can help it, but damn if I ain't almost sober. Fourth feature is customization options. Tailor your dialogue experience to your preferences with customizable styles and fonts. Adjust background colors, line colors, and font scales to create a personalized interface that suits your aesthetic preferences. This time, I'd like to introduce about five visual-related mods. And first up is TMD Winery. This mod changes Skyrim's wine bottles to look like those in the movies. It alters them into a wider shape compared to the original ones. The mod provides various styles of wine bottles, some wider than others, allowing for a diverse range of options. The creator mentions that this mod not only replaces the wine bottles, but also supports ENB complex materials and dynamic cube maps, and it's ESL flagged. So, if you're interested, give it a try. Next up is Skyking Unique Signs. This mod is designed to be used alongside the previously introduced Skyking Signs, adding unique signs to the shops. These signs, reflecting Skyking's distinctive style, may seem minor, but they can significantly upgrade the quality of signage. Next up is Nordic Stonewall Terraces. This mod replaces existing stone walls with new 3D models, featuring walls commonly seen in areas like Ivarstead. Care has been taken for performance, offering options for both high-detail 4K textures and memory-saving 2K textures. The mod showcases a square yet rugged texture, enhance the essence of the walls effectively. Next up is Unique Wooden Bridges, High Quality Ivy Add-on. This mod adds High Quality Ivy to the Unique Wooden Bridges mod introduced in the previous video. As the mod adds wooden bridges, the High Quality Ivy complements them perfectly. The combination of wooden bridges and vegetation enhances the natural and aesthetic appeal of the bridges upgrading the visual experience of Skyrim. Lastly, let me introduce the Dawnguard Bikini Set. This is a bikini armor set for the Dawnguard faction, as the name suggests, making it an appropriate outfit for players aligned with the Dawnguard. It offers a considerable amount of exposure and includes various pieces for customization, including tops, bottoms, capes, and masks. It's tailored for characters with a more rugged appearance, so give it a try if it fits your taste. Thank you for joining us in exploring the must-have new Skyrim mods to enhance gameplay, visuals, and interface. We've covered a wide range of mods that bring fresh experiences to your Skyrim adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting Skyrim content. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll continue to dive into the world of Skyrim modding. Until then, happy modding and happy gaming.